Hey there, everybody. Welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Today, we are shining our spotlight on the considerable career of director Alfred Hitchcock, all part of a month-long celebration we're calling Sundays with Hitch. As you almost certainly know, Alfred Hitchcock specialized in thrillers, and he made them as consistently well as anyone in the history of the business. Well, coming up next today, we've got a Hitchcock thriller, but one that takes an inventive approach. It effectively scares the audience because the terrifying events are so credibly real. It's all built around a simple question. What if you were accused of a terrible crime you did not commit? From Warner Brothers in 1956, it's the wrong man. The story behind the film actually begins almost 50 years earlier, when Hitchcock was a little boy growing up in England. In an oft-told story, young Alfred did something his father didn't approve of, so Hitchcock's old man wrote a note, then told his son to take the note to the police station. An officer, or constable, it was England, read the note and then proceeded to lock young Alfred Hitchcock in a jail cell. That's what we do to boys who are naughty, the officer said as he slammed the door closed. That's the kind of inappropriate parenting that today will get you a reality show. Anyway, that one incident, maybe 10 minutes behind bars as a young boy, leaves Alfred Hitchcock with a lifelong fear of police, police stations, and jails, not to mention his own father. Cut to 50 years later, and Hitchcock, now a successful director, reads a magazine article about a real-life man arrested for a crime he didn't commit. Hitchcock immediately thought the story would make a great movie, so he bought the screen rights, then cast an actor no one could believe would commit a violent crime, a pillar of on-screen honesty and decency, Henry Fonda. The story you're about to see is largely true, the way it really happened, shot by Hitchcock at many of the actual locations, from 1956, also featuring Vera Miles and Anthony Quayle, Henry Fonda, and Alfred Hitchcock's The Wrong Man. 